Right, so this might be one of the dumbest things I think I've had to report on in quite a while, but it is currently being really talked about right now. I think just because of how stupid this potentially sounds, but for those of you who haven't heard about this already, it is currently being support, uh, reported rather that the Warriors were hoping to sign Ricky Rubio if he would have negotiated a buyer after being traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that very recently as well, they've still been interested in a buyout. And this is all being reported by Joe Verdun of The Athletic. Now, can I just say, let me just say this real quick. Why would the Cleveland Cavaliers give away a dude that's averaging them like 13 points and 6 assists on a team that's currently 6 in the East? Why would they give away that guy for free? Why would they give away that guy at all? Why would they give away a really, really good role player who seems to absolutely love it in Cleveland, who probably extend for them for not exactly too much in the offseason? Why would the Cleveland Cavaliers do that? So I'm just going to, you know, th toss away this kind of thing of like the Golden State Warriors are looking for Ricky Rubio on a buyout because that's just not happening. I don't believe that the Warriors even are. I think they might have been before the season started because they made a lot of sense if the Cavaliers were really, really bad and you know, just couldn't happen. Ricky Rubio wasn't playing good. Um, and they wanted to do about a buyout. That could happen. Again, I don't think that would have happened anyway because the Cavaliers would probably look to have tried to trade for uh, trade him away. But now that the Cavaliers are good, this is just not going to happen. I think Warriors fans know as well. This is uh, a little bit of a weird take. It's, it's probably not going to happen. But just to make this video a little bit more fun, I would like to talk about how perfect... Ricky Rubio most likely be for this Golden State Warriors team. We're also talking about, well, what if they did want him? Like, what would they have to trade up to maybe get Ricky Rubio to the team? Of course, Ricky Rubio would be perfect for this Warriors team. They don't have really a designated backup point guard off the bench, I don't think. You know, we've seen the Draymond Green's kind of... He's kind of the point forward, and then when he's not being the point forward, Steph Curry's being the point guard. And then when both of them are off, then they need a dude to come on. I think Jordan Poole has kind of been playing a lot of that point guard position too. As well as a couple others like Chris Chios are kind of stepping in. But if you're adding a dude like Ricky Rubio in, who is an elite defender who would play make to Steph Curry, like, superbly, then you're definitely doing that. And he would be absolutely great for them. Like, I mean, he'd probably come in. His points might go down a little bit because the Cavaliers do rely on him a little bit to be a shot creator. But he would kind of, you know, come in and play that, you know, kind of back up point guard position, probably come in and average 10 points per game, five assists, maybe even a little bit more. I think he would be a really perfect dude. Plus, his defense would really suit nice with a lot of the defensive players they have on the team, like Andre Iguodala, who seems to get better defensively with age at times. Like, he just learns new things every year. It's crazy um, what he pulls out. Like, he's been really good for them this season. Draymond Green as well is also there, who is one of the best defenders in the game. Some people think he's the defensive player of the year. I may be one of those guys. I haven't looked too much into it, but I could definitely see Draymond winning Defensive Player of the Year. He is an absolute freak. One of the most underrated players, I think, in the NBA right now. It's crazy, though. I did see, and I think a couple of you guys might have saw this too, a post the other day that said that Draymond Green was overrated. I definitely know whoever posted that got a lot of hate because that is absolutely stupid and ridiculous. He is not overrated at all. In fact, he is one of the most underrated players. But yet, yeah, Get Ricky Rubio, you're going to most likely have to trade something. That's pretty obvious. He's not going to be released on a buyout. And even then, what would you even trade to, like, get Ricky Rubio to the team? Because it's not like they can trade, like, Kali Oubre now to, like, match up those contracts and maybe a couple of second-round picks or a protected first. That's not going to happen. Oubre's not on the team anymore, and they don't really have a contract like that now. When we look at it, they've still got, you know... Clay, uh, Steph, um, Andrew Wiggins, all on the max. Draymond's on a near max. James Wiseman is probably the only guy you could somewhat trade to match up contracts. And I think the Cavaliers don't need James Wiseman. They wouldn't want James Wiseman at the at the time. I think Ricky Rubio, of course, makes a lot more sense for this team. And not even just that, like, I think the Warriors would like to keep hold on to James Wiseman for a little bit to see 
how much he develops and how good he potentially becomes and what's his role and what's his fit for the team. I think it will be pretty obvious they'll definitely relax on that a little bit. And I think, yeah, it's only a matter of time till James Wiseman gets called up from the J League and we maybe see some action from him in the NBA. So that would be kind of cool to see. And of course, Clay Thompson's coming back. You know, he's coming back from injury, hopefully. I pray he can get on the court healthy and, you know, he'll do some stuff. There's really no room out there for them to even try and trade for Ricky Rubio because they just don't have the assets in terms of matching contracts. I just can't see it necessarily working really at all. But, you know what, I just thought I'd make the video because it is being reported quite a bit, and I think it is a pretty fun and funny topic to kind of speculate on. And hey, if you're a Warriors fan, I wouldn't believe in them wanting a buyout for Rubio, because I think that's pretty obvious that's most likely not going to happen. They wouldn't even give their time or a thought up for that, because they know there's no way the Cleveland Cavaliers are doing it. Unless Ricky Rubio was to do something controversial, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. So yeah, but you know what, Warriors fans, if you were able to get Ricky Rubio, he'd be a great fit for the team. I just don't know who you would trade up unless you were to randomly contract extend some random player on the team for like 15 million and then trade him away and throw in some first round picks or something. Other Cavaliers might look at that. Probably not still because I think Ricky Rubio is a long term dude for this Cavs team. He'll play this season out. Hopefully we'll get that contract extension and yeah, we'll see what happens from there. So, of course, you know, as I said, I just thought I'd make this video just to talk about it and kind of see what's, of course, going on and, you know, maybe even get some of you guys' thoughts and opinions. Should the Golden State Warriors pursue Ricky Rubio? Should they not? Of course, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions. Would the Cavaliers let him go on a buyout? Would they trade him away? This and that. Let him. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But as I was saying, go subscribe to my gaming channel. And my IRO slash long child subscribe to this channel for all the latest sports content and NBA news. And yeah, all the other stuff will be linked in the description down below. But as I was saying, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.